We actually have United States Army Garrison Japan Commander Colonel Phil Gage with us. Sir, how are you doing this morning? All right, all right. Sam Burns, how are you doing? I'm doing excellent. It's a, it's a really nice time of the year right now. You know, the cherry blossoms, they're kind of starting to bloom a little bit. They're coming. Spring is in the air, as they say, right? Absolutely. So, hey, we're looking forward to it. And, and you know, and you're right, spring, I mean, cherry blossoms are coming. I mean, so down here at uh, Cam Zama, we've already got we've got a number of uh, cherry trees are in and around Cam Zama on our golf course, you know, throughout our small installation here, and they're coming. I mean, so there's there's some trees that are fully blossomed, and there's some that are still on the way, and so we were very fortunate because this Saturday, uh, it's time. I mean, we're gearing up for our annual cherry blossom festival on Saturday. We moved it a week forward this year because last year, you know, we missed the cherry blossom, so this year. We paid really close attention to all the inter- Internet forecast out there, and uh, we think we got it right. So uh, Saturday, if weather holds out, it looks like we're going to have a partly cloudy day on Saturday, and uh, we're going to get ready for the Cherry Blossom um, Festival. Uh, so this is an open post event if uh, everyone's not tracking it. Uh, we're looking forward to having a huge turnout this year. Uh, visitors from our host nation come on to the installation. It is an open post event, and it's, and it's really a lot of fun. And it really starts off on Saturday morning. We're kicking things off with an annual fun run and walk. The, there will be a youth run that will begin at 1030, uh, followed by an adult run at noon. And the route takes you through kind of uh, Cam Zama where there's some nice cherry blossom trees. It's a great way to get out, um, do some fitness, bring people together. And it's a bit of friendly competition. And, and we have a, a very large Japanese local national turnout uh, who runs in these fun runs every year. So we appreciate that. And then uh, you can't forget about the music and, and the food. I mean, so we'll have uh, performances and DJs playing throughout the day on our big field behind Yano Fitness Center. And uh, we'll also have some Japanese bands. Uh, we got a couple of little rock bands that play. And, of course, our own uh, U.S. Army Japan uh, band. They always they put on a great show. They're great musicians. And plenty of food, drinks, hot dogs, hamburgers, all those things. And then, you know, just in the end, the Cherry Blossom Festival is, is great. It really achieves two things. It's an opportunity for the, the Army in Japan, the U.S. Army Japan community, uh, a chance to get out, spend a day with their families, enjoy the sights and sounds of spring, and it gives us a chance to uh, welcome our host country uh, uh, neighbors onto the installation, and we get to interact with our Japanese communities, and it really makes us feel like we're one community. You know, and here in the U.S. military, I mean, every one of us is an ambassador of the U.S. military in Japan, and we have an opportunity to strengthen that great relationship uh, with our host country, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. It's going to be a great, great event, and I'm sure everyone else is, uh, both inside and outside our gates. Yeah, absolutely. I love this time of the year because the weather's nice, but as you were saying, sir, getting those communities together, it's really such a special event. And then you got the beauty of the cherry blossoms. So That's right. It's all going to work out very well. That's coming up So this uh, Saturday, so the end of the month of March. And then, I mean, once uh, March is over, we're going to be moving on into April. And now one big topic that always comes up in April is a child abuse prevention. Well, you're right. So uh, April is one of several... Uh, uh, observances uh, during the month of April. One of them is Child Abuse Prevention Month, and I just want to talk a little bit about that. Um, so, it, it, child abuse is, it demands awareness, right? So families need to be um, concerned and aware of uh, child abuse. But it's really about what the resources the Army provides to help our soldiers and civilians and family members know how to recognize signs of child abuse and prevent it from occurring in the first place. That's the goal. So I'm really proud of our Army Community Service uh, for all they do uh, throughout this month, but throughout for what they do all year, you know, to really educate our community and promote awareness on, on things such as child abuse. So, so yesterday, around noon to about uh, 1,500, they kicked it off. They had a, uh, an open house over there at their ACS building. And uh, what's great about that is people could come in and not just learn about child abuse prevention, but also get information about the other many other services that uh, Army Community Service provides for the community, everything from Japanese language classes, money management seminars, youth programs, lending closet for newcomers, all of those things ACS does. I mean, so kind of getting back on Child Abuse uh, Prevention Month, uh, they, they will, ACS is going to host three child abuse prevention troop training sessions uh, for our soldiers at the Camp Zama Community Recreation Center. Uh, the first session will be on April 11th uh, from 1 to 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And then again on April 12th, um, there will be two sessions on April 12th, one in the morning, 9 to 11, and then again in the afternoon from 1 to 3. And, um, and, and as soldiers, we, just, we know that child abuse has, has no place within our ranks, and it never hurts to take advantage of these resources. And that's what these troop training sessions are about. Uh, so we ask folks come out, uh, soldiers come out, and get some training on child abuse prevention. 
Um, and that's not all. There's uh, one other thing in April that ACS is going to do. On April 21st, 24th, excuse me, um, Hands Are Not For Hurting is what the event is called. And uh, it's at 1 o'clock over at Building 402, uh, the ACS building. So everyone who comes to this event will be able to make a handprint mold and then they can paint it, and, you know, kids can put glitter or googly eyes on it, whatever. Just decorate it any way they want to. It's obviously a great activity for the kids, but, but for the parents and anyone else who wants to come join in, uh, you could take that handprint and display it on your desk, living room, wherever you want to. But it's an effort just to raise awareness and demonstrate your commitment uh, to preventing child abuse. So that, that's really it. So Child Abuse Prevention Month in the month of April. There you go. Yeah, so obviously it takes a, it takes a village to raise a child. I know we've probably... Uh, said that quote many many times here on eagle Eye 10 but yeah. uh yeah just uh, make sure you get out with those awesome events with army community service or yeah 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 there yeah you. you got it there you go so please uh please check that out and of course keep it locked in right here to eagle Eye 10 we'll be right back with colonel gage after some more music here's american author's best day of my life we are back with United States Army Garrison Japan Commander Colonel Phil Gage. Sir, how you doing? Hey, Sam. So, I, you know, your weather forecast, I'm liking it at the moment. So I, I hope everything turns out good for our Cherry Blossom Festival on Saturday. We'll keep a close eye on it, though. Yeah, you got to wonder, like, how can can Mother Nature really be this nice to us? The cherry blossoms are blooming at the perfect time. The weather looks like it's going to be nice. Yeah, so, great. fingers crossed for that. And we All were right. just talking about that earlier, but... I know you, there's also there's a lot obviously going on around uh, Camp Zama and lots of lots of fun stuff as well. Earlier we were talking about child abuse prevention, which maybe not be isn't so fun, but this <laughs> next thing coming up is a little more fun. Yeah, well, you know, some people may not know this. I mean, but at Camp Zama we have a community theater group. And uh, just like the name implies, it's made up of members of the community, uh, from teens up to adults, um, who want to entertain and perform on the stage. And they've been active for a few years now. And so last year, they did this really fun, uh, the really fun performance where they did a murder mystery dinner uh, theater show at our community club, and it was a great time. And so, and you know, and over the past year, couple of years too, they put on a holiday variety show near the end of the year, and it's, and their next production is coming up soon, and I think it's going to be pretty good. So their next production is going to be called Clue, and it's a stage version uh, based on the movie from the mid-'80s, which itself was based on a board game. Uh, do you remember that game Clue? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you're old enough for that game, but, I mean, anyway, I think it's still around. Um, <laughs> but anyway, you had to figure out which character uh, was the killer, uh, what weapon they used, what room they did it in. So the play is all about these six people who meet up in this big mansion, and the people in the house get, uh, you know, keep ending up, you know, dead, and they're, they're trying to figure out who the killers are. So it's a sort of uh, murder mystery sort of thing, uh, like the dinner theater they, they did last year. Um, but it's a, but it's a comedy. It's really a comedy is what it is. And so um, the Camp Zama Community Theater Group will be putting this, put on two performances of Clue in April. The first one will be on April 19th at 6 p.m. Uh, and then there will be a, a, another showing on Saturday, April 20th at 4 p.m. And both of these shows will be at the Community Recreation Center. Uh, it's free. Admission is free. There's no tickets. It's first come, first serve. Uh, the doors will open 30 minutes before the curtain time. And this is an all-age show. I mean, so it's a great opportunity to take the whole family out. And again, the Cam Zama Community Theater Group is made up of all volunteers from the community who put on these shows, not because they get paid, but because they enjoy being uh, on stage and entertaining. So I'm really hoping these two shows have a great turnout because there's no doubt uh, it'll be pretty entertaining. That does sound like a ton of fun. And even when it comes like, to mysteries and stuff like that, I love it. And yes, I, I did play a little bit of the board game Clue, sir. So. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I know, uh, I know how it goes. And that, that should be a ton of fun. So do not miss out on that coming up later on in april also looking forward into april another big thing we got coming up is earth day well sure earth day happens in april i mean on april 22nd um, which is of course a worldwide observation where you know folks demonstrate their support for environmental protection and of course uh, you do what you can year round to make sure that you're using uh Re renewable resources and recycling, separating your trash and all those things. Uh, but Earth Day is kind of a day to come together and advocate for keeping our Earth clean uh, for future generations. Uh, so down at Camp Zomber, we're really no different, uh, particularly when it comes to teaching our youngest community members how to take care of the Earth. And with that in mind, uh, Arn Elementary hosted its Earth, uh, Science and Earth Day event as well as their fall festival. Uh, and Arn Elementary is located over on Skamihara Family Housing Area. And it's great because uh, the whole community can come out and support the event. I mean, so basically on the April 19th at Arn, it'll be a full day of Earth Day related activities. Uh, there's going to be a ecology fair where, booths will, where kids will make their crafts. 
and they'll even have folks from uh, DPW and Public Health Command come out and give different presentations and have questions and answers uh, with the kids. Uh, so the elementary school is also having a poster contest where the kids come up with their best design uh, poster that demonstrates the importance of Earth Day, and there'll be an award assembly uh, for the winning posters uh, that'll be on April 26th at the school. Uh, so if your kid's involved in that, that happens at 1.30 on April 26th at Arn Elementary. And then on April 21st, there's a, a group of youth volunteers, and this is pretty cool. There's a group of youth volunteers uh, who will be at the Scummy River, which is right outside our base, and they'll spend the day picking up litter and doing a little bit of beautification around the river. Um, and so our kids do it every year, and it's a great way for them to get directly involved in the upkeep of our community, but also spend the day doing something that helps strengthen our relationship uh, with the cities of Zama and Scummy Hara. So it's great to see that level of involvement and selfless service on our, on our kids' part and also to show their concern for the environment. So I'm sure the fair, the cleanup, and everything's going to be a great event, um, but that's going to happen in April, uh, Earth Day. There you go, Earth Day. Yeah, take care of the planet. We all live on it, so let's try to make it last as long as possible. And, uh, you know, obviously here in Japan they do such a great job of cleaning up around uh, just around the country, so we can do our part as well. But kind of recapping what we talked about today so sir we had the you guys got the cherry blossom festival this saturday that's going to be a ton of fun the cherry blossoms are so beautiful yep. open post event everyone is invited child abuse prevention month is coming up in april army community services putting on lots of uh, troop trainings and also the hands are not for hurting event which will be going on throughout april so make sure you contact them for more details uh, that clue on stage, that sounds like a lot of fun from the it's Zama. That's going to be a good one. Yeah, I love the sound of that from the Zama Community Theater. And then Earth Day, Sagami River cleanup, all that coming up later on in, in April where Earth Day will be happening. There's a, there's a lot going on, sir. It's a good time of the year. Well, there always is. And, and just I'll take a moment now to just uh, update everyone. So our, our Cam Zama Community Club is still in renovation. It's going very well. Uh, we think we're going to have that finished by the 30th of April and, and get it back in service for the community. We're really, really looking forward to that, to have a little updated uh, updated uh, fixtures and furnishings in the building. So that's going as scheduled, so that's really good. And then I would just like to say to everyone, okay, so spring is coming, right? And summer's getting close. Uh, you know, it's important if you're going to be out and start doing summer-related things that you, you take care of yourself, be safe. Uh, stay hydrated. You know, wear sunscreen. I got a little sunburn the other weekend myself. <laughs> I was a little surprised. Um, and needless to say, you know, alcohol and beach activities don't mix so well. So if you're doing that, if you're doing boating, kayaking, swimming, uh, make sure that you're not drinking alcohol when you do that so you can stay safe. And just always remember, uh, when you're out and about and enjoying the community, there is cherry blossom festivals everywhere, you know, throughout Japan and the local communities. I encourage everyone to get outside the gate as well and go participate in some of these local festivals and just yeah you know, it's a really beautiful time of year and it's uh, our japanese hosts are very welcoming uh to us participating in, in some of their festivals that they have outside the gate just remember everyone's an ambassador and um you know and we really appreciate our our, our host nation for for sharing you know their customs and traditions with us and and we just want to take part of it um so if you need any more information, just as always, just, just like us on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash USAGJ. You can get more information there, or you can always stop by any of our offices here on uh, Cam Zama and talk to us face-to-face. -face. So I uh, appreciate everything. Thanks, Sam. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. But before I let you go, we got to get some music rolling. So what do you want to hear today? Well, we were, we were kind of worried about the weather, right? So we, we just figured uh, we, we didn't want to stop believing that it was going to be good weather on uh, on Saturday. So how about Don't Stop Believing by Germany? I mean, Germany. Journey, you know, one of my childhood favorites, I guess. So Don't Stop okay. Believing. There we go. Journey, Don't Stop Believing, taking it back to 1981. Sir, thank you so much for talking to us today. All right. Thanks, Sam. Absolutely. That was United States Army Garrison Japan Commander Colonel Phil Gage. And here's Journey on Eagle 810, serving America's best. 